What's up? It's your boy Swervo with yet another math video. In today's video, we're going to be doing some geometry, focusing in on properties of parallelograms. In today's assignment, we're going to look at these properties of parallelograms. So in numbers one through six, we are finding the measurement of the indicated thing in each question. All right, so it gives me a parallelogram. So one property of parallelograms is that opposite angles are congruent. That means the same. So if opposite angles are the same, well, if angle T in this problem is 135 degrees, then angle R is also 135 degrees. Hold on one second, students. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you already posted it. It's all the same. All right. Next property that I want to tell you about for angles, specifically angles in parallelograms. Um, consecutive angles. So angles next to each other, like angle C and F or angle C and D. Those angles are supplementary. What does it mean for two angles to be supplementary? They add up to 180. So if I know what angle C is, I can find angle D by taking 180 and subtracting 70, and I get 110. All right. Those are going to be very similar for problems numbers three and four. All right. Let's look at number five. So, number five, we're going to use another property of parallelograms, which says that opposite sides are congruent. So, if I know RQ has a length of 23, then SP is also going to have a length of 23. I will let you do number six. It's just the same. All right, let's go ahead and look down here. Okay, so um, it says RP is what I want to find out. Oops, RT is 19.8. Now, in parallelograms, the diagonals bisect each other. In other words, RT is going to have the same length as TP. So TP would also be 19.8. How would I find RP now? I would add them up. 19.8 plus 19.8 is going to be 29.6. Nope, 39.6. Sorry about that. All righty. Uh, it's going to be very similar for number nine, so I'm going to let you do that one. Um, okay, here I have a parallelogram. Remember, these two angles will add up to 180. So since I have a portion of this angle, I can figure out this one by doing 180 minus 60 minus 52. So 180 minus 60 is going to give me 120. And then if I subtract 52, that's going to give me 68 degrees. So that angle will be 68 degrees. That'll be very similar for number 10. I'm going to let you do number 10. All right, let's go to the back side. So now I have um, some expressions, and I'm going to be trying to figure out what X is. I'm going to be using the same properties. So here I have two angles. These angles are consecutive, which means they add up to 180 since they're supplementary. So I'm going to add them up. 80 plus 11x minus 10 equals 180. Now I have a linear equation. When we're solving linear equations, we want to first collect like terms. So I have negative 10 and positive 80. That'll make 70. Whoops. 70 plus 11x equals 180. Now, I want to get variables to one side, numbers to the other. Since my variables are already here on the left, I'm going to subtract 70 from both sides. Cancel. 
So I get 11x equals 110. Fast. Divide by 11. Divide by the number in front of x. You get 10. Um, you might need to show your work on a separate sheet of paper here because there is not that much room. I apologize. Um, so that number 11 will be very similar to number 13, 14, and 16. Numbers 12 and 15 will also be similar. I will only do one of them. So I will show you how to do number 12. So here I'm given two expressions for opposite sides. I know opposite sides are equal. So I'm going to set them equal. All right. So now I want to get my variables to one side. So let's subtract x from both sides. Cancel. 2x minus x is x. And then I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. Cancel. 15 minus 15 is 0. So I get x equals 0. Um, that's that. So now we're down to numbers 17 and 18. Um, U8 tells me is 19. And then it tells me FH, which would be um, the full segment, is 5x minus 7. Now, we can't set that equal to 19. But if you think about it, since this is a parallelogram, these two uh, UH and UF are going to be congruent. So UF would also be 19. So um, Miranda, what's the 19 plus 19 going to give me? 30, 30. 38. Thank you, Miranda. Uh, then I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. Um, so I will get uh, 5x equals... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, I add 7. Whoops. Adds, let's not do that. Add 7 to both sides. That's what I meant. Oh, whoops. 38 plus 7 is 45. Divide by 5. And I should get 9. Fine. This is going to be a similar one. Just think about the setup. Be careful. Are they going to be set equal to one another or something different? Um, last couple. These are going to be similar. I'm given opposite angles, expressions for those opposite angles. You're going to set them equal and then solve. I'll let you try that on your own. Same thing here. I'm given two expressions for opposite sides. Once again, we will set them equal and solve. I'll let you try those on your own. Um, I am going to pause the video here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Feel free to comment with any questions. Make sure you smash that like button if you like the video and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Peace.